TouchMath Connect is interactive whiteboard software so that you can use TouchMath using your smartboard. It has a variety of activities on the program from touching and counting patterns to number concepts, addition, and subtraction. Addition goes up to double digits with regrouping. Subtraction goes to double digits with regrouping. Those levels are similar to the levels on the paper version of Touch Math. When you open your software, you will see a screen that looks like this. There's a navigation bar at the top of the home screen. It contains the quit button for exiting the program and the home button which will always bring you back to the main screen. The options button takes you to a screen that allows you to choose between the standard touch points or pictorial touch points for certain activities. When pictorial touch points is selected, you will notice the screen below becomes activated. You may choose images that will be part of your activities. A select unselect all feature is available for ease of use. You can click on the checkbox next to each image to select or unselect the image. The images you choose will be randomly used throughout the activities. The sound may be adjusted as well using the volume slider from the options screen or the home screen. You may also choose speech effects. You may also choose speech or effects or click to turn them off for the audio within the activities. Certain activities provide the option of keying in the answers. You can click the keyboard icon here at the top of the screen. The functionality can be enabled by selecting the keyboard option icon. Finally, Manage Teams allows you to set up individual players or teams for progress monitoring, customized lessons, or even the multiplayer competition mode. Simply click the New Team button and name the teams. After you have named your teams, click the Confirm button. You may also delete teams or reset team scores from the screen. When I'm back to my home screen, you'll notice that TouchMath Connect has a variety of startup options. You have three easy options to begin using TouchMath Connect in your classroom. By touching the Quick Start tab, you'll notice a drop-down menu appear at the top of my screen to allow me to choose an activity. I'm going to choose Placing Touch Points. You also have the ability to select options within the activity you choose. For instance, randomization of numbers, number ranges, and which numbers to focus on. These options are specific to this activity. You will see options based on the activity that you choose. By confirming that, it will allow you to play the activity. Drag the touch points in the correct order to the numeral 2. 1, 2. Touch and count the touch points. It will walk you through the activity, and when you want to return to the home screen, you simply touch the home button. I could also select the playlist option which we're not going to do right now, but it allows you to select and choose new playlists for customized sets of activities for whole class, small group, or individual instruction. You can also choose to make teams for competitive play, and you can also choose the scoring option within the playlist section. TouchMath also allows you to select from your last played activities. The last played options seen on the home screen will display the last four activities your students have played. You can click on any of the options displayed to go directly to the activity. When TouchMath Connect is first installed, you will just see learning touch points and placing touch points as the last played activities. They can be accessed immediately. Drag the touch points in the correct order to the numeral 2. 1 2 Touch and count the touch points. One, two. Good job. Drag the touch points in the correct order to the numeral four. You'll notice by selecting new activity within this game 
I can choose a new activity from the quick start menu over here as well. I can also choose home and it'll take me right back out to my home screen. You have several options within the activities. I'm going to choose placing touch points again. Drag the touch points in the correct order to the numeral 2. If the auto advance checkbox is selected, the next problem will automatically appear when I'm done with this one. If it is unselected, you will need to click next question up here in order to advance to the next question. If you are playing an activity within the quick start or last played mode, new activity like I just showed you allows you to cancel your current game and choose a new activity. If I was to be in playlist right now, I could restart my playlist by choosing the restart playlist button that you see within the playlist activities. The next activity button also takes you to the next activity in the playlist, similar as the next question button takes you to the next question within an activity. That's it for a brief overview of the TouchMath Connect software program. The software allows you to play many of the activities you find on paper on the interactive whiteboard so that you can practice the skills using many different modes of input. There is a PDF that's available with the disk that shows you many of the features we just talked about. It also walks you through how to do touch math, how to teach it if you need to hone your skills in that. There is also a video included with the disk that shows you a quick startup guide similar to what I just did on this. That's it for our brief overview of TouchMath Connect.